Welcome to Cryolor Asia Pacific, a leader in cryogenic bulk storage and transport technologies. For nearly 35 years, Cryolor has been designing and manufacturing cryogenic equipment for transport and storage of liquefied gas. The company has two state-of-the-art manufacturing plants, one in France and another in India. The third plant is being set up in China. Four regional offices and three service centers across three continents enable Cryolaw to export its expertise to more than 85 countries. To handle cryogenics, very high standards of safety need to be maintained as the liquids involved are prone to many hazards. Cryolaw strictly adheres to the norms of global standards design codes of ASME and PED. Every country has instituted a statutory authority that formulates guidelines for handling low-temperature cryogenic vessels. For SMPV installations in India, Cryolor strictly adheres to the guidelines formed by Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organization, PESO, formed by Government of India. The technology of cryogenics faces several safety-related challenges. The colorless, and odorless inert elements in both liquid and gaseous forms may displace oxygen and cause rapid suffocation. It may promote combustion in concentrated areas. It may ignite organic materials and provoke explosions in the presence of a spark. Extremely flammable gas may form explosive mixtures with air and may explode if heated. Sudden drop or increase of pressure may be harmful. Extremely low temperature can produce cryogenic burns on the skin and freeze underlying tissues. Vapors are also extremely cold. All necessary safety precautions have to be adhered to, therefore, to avoid mishaps and ensure safety. Here are some guidelines. Do's. All surfaces that may come in contact with gas and liquids must be kept clean. Ensure adequate ventilation in the storage areas. Protect your eyes with safety goggles or face shield. Protect your arms with cryogenic gloves. Deploy regulators and apparatus exclusively designed for installation and operation. Ensure adequate water availability for first aid and decantation process. This LMO site layout has been designed as per the PESO SMPV guidelines. Safety procedures are to be followed to fill or decant liquids from the road tanker known as VITT, Vacuum Insulated Transport Tanker, to the storage vessel known as VIST, Vacuum Insulated Storage Tanker. If you are trying to do the filling for the first time in the VIST, which is known as warm filling, an authorized engineer's presence is required. What we are going to see in this video are the procedures meant for cold filling. All statutory approvals and a fitness certificate for the trailer used for the decantation operation should be in place. Trailer should be operated within the permissible speed limit and the trailer should be equipped with reverse horns and safety kit including the first aid kit and fire extinguishers. Two drivers should be present during the operation. SMPV area entry and emergency gates should be opened outward. Keep the emergency gate open during the entire operation. Park the tanker on the hard stand. Apply the handbrake and place the wheel chock. After parking the vehicle, hand over the ignition key to customer representative. Drivers and technicians should wear PPE kit. Study the process and instrumentation diagram for the vessel. Strictly adhere to and follow all the rules and regulations stipulated by the customer. Verify whether tanker product identification tag matches with the product name on the tank being filled. Insist that customers should depute their representative from the beginning to the end during decanting process. Connect transfer hose at the fill point of VITT and tighten securely. Ensure the transfer hose is purged before connecting to the storage vessel.
ensure that top W2 and bottom W1 fill valves of the VIST are kept closed. Open the hose bleed valve partially. Crack open the VITT bottom valve. Open the VIST W41 overflow valve fully and crack open top W2 and W21 fill valve. Ensure W1 and W11 are kept closed of the VIST. Open the VITT bottom valve slowly to allow the idle gas flow through the transfer hose. Keep the hose bleed purge valve in open condition till liquid appears and then close the hose bleed purge valve. If the pressure in VIST is not rising abnormally and within the limits, continue the top filling process. If the pressure in VIST comes below the permissible limit, stop the top filling by closing the W2 and W21 valves. To bring the pressure in VIST to the safe limit, switch to bottom filling by opening W1 and W11 valves. During the bottom filling process, if the pressure in VIST rises, switch to top filling to balance the pressure. Keep a watch on the tank level and pressure gauges in VIST and continue the operation till the vessel is filled to its capacity. If the VIST is about to overflow, the gas from the overflow W41 valve becomes white or foggy. When liquid spurts from the overflow valve, close the filling valve and the W41 overflow valve of the VIST and the bottom valve of the VITT to stop the filling. Open the line purging valve to depressurize the hose. Pour water on top of the valves and hose before removing the hose connection for ensuring proper closure. Remove and place the transfer hose safely on the trailer holder. Close the fill point with a dummy cap. Remove the wheel chock and move the vehicle safely from the SMPV area and the main gates. Now let us look at the don'ts. Safety measures will automatically fall in place if people connected to the decantation strictly adhere to the following. Do not enter the area without personal protective equipment PPE. Restrict unauthorized persons entry. Do not permit smoking or an open flame in area where gas or liquid is stored or handled or used. Do not carry or use mobile phones. Do not carry on with the filling while it is raining. Avoid filling after sunset and before sunrise. Do not use any tools and tackles to operate the cryogenic valves. It is recommended to use hand operations. Do not use any hard tools to remove icing on the pipelines. It is recommended to use running water for de-icing. Do not carry out any hot works. Do not walk on or roll equipment over liquid spills. Do not place the equipment with oil, grease or unapproved lubricants. Do not touch frosted pipes or valves with bare skin. For a successful and safe decantation process, Trialor follows these procedures which are worked out in line with global standards. In line with our commitment to safety, we disseminate these guidelines to all our stakeholders with diligence so that together we can achieve excellence in safety. To us, safety is not just a practice. It is part of our behavior, life and culture. Trialor, where safety is a way of life.